Good afternoon. I'm from Nepal. I'll, I want, I'm going to share some initiatives that we have taken, especially using future smart foods, targeting to end the hunger. In uh, mountain Himalaya, uh, most of the food deficit area in Nepal is mountain area, but uh, majority of the crops grown in that area are neglected and unutilized. And one of our working principles to end the hunger is to make so the site-specific staple crop. In high hill area, there are very specific area, and our government and researchers have not focused so far. And we selected one crop, that's proso millet, and our main target or main mission is to make these particular crops the staple crop for that reasons. And for this, we applied six approaches for particular crops, foxtail millets. And the first one, in, the, in, in that fox, foxtail millet, proso millet, sorry, the major problem the farmers facing is de-husking. It's very difficult to de-husk, and farmers do, do, don't want to grow because of this de-husking problems. And we developed the electric run machines it's very easy, and we demonstrated to farmers and provided to the farming community, and they are very happy now. And probably they feel so smiling, the farmers. We had a meeting last week, and we found the farmers are very smiling. And we hope these machines can make this proso millet as a staple crops for that particular reasons, particular area. And second start of second initiative was about making the seeds of future smart crop accessible to all the community. We established community seed banks in the remote area, making easy access to the farmers for, because modern variety is available in most of the area. And the, there are suppliers for modern variety or release variety, but there are no any suppliers for the future smart food crops. That's why we established the community seed bank. And third one is, because the farmers even doesn't know what other farmers have uh, future smart food crops? How much diversity they have? We organize the diversity fair, particularly targeting to the future smart food crops. And we, we observe many diversity even within a prosimulate. We notice four different kinds of land nesses, and we discuss with the farmers. And majority problem is low yield. And we started the participatory plant bidding. We usually call genetic enhancement of the prosimilate land nesses. And we developed two variety, and it is now under the process of registration in, in the Nepal government system. And another one is we also conduct, uh, we call diversity failure schools, asking farmers to visit in the field, and let's discuss how the diversity, especially targeting to maintain intra and interlevel variety. And the last one is because earlier farmers use only one types of foods making from the prosomilate, we provided the training, simply we can say the product diversification. And after training now, the farmers can develop six kinds of food recipe. And now one person in the remote area, they have a own shop selling the local items, especially prepared from the prosomilate, and they are very happy. These six techniques that we applied, now we are replicating to other area with other crops. And we expect, at least in some extent, this six technology can help to make the staple crops in a particular area, and then it will help to or accelerate to end the hunger. Yeah, thank you.